Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Gary from the Orange City Campus with your Orange City Campus Living Water Community Church update for Friday, March 13. Maybe before anything else, what is most apt to talk about is how we respond to this coronavirus, how we respond to what is happening around our world. I want to be absolutely sure and take a theological perspective on it first and say God is in control and we trust that God is sovereign and we trust that God is good and we trust that that doesn't stop. Neither one of those things have ceased. And we also want to be absolutely sure that we are being logical in this, that we are doing what we need to do and also recognizing that overreaction or underreaction is neither of the ways we want to go. And so we want to be serious and we want to be pastoral and we want to be caring about those who are infected, about those who are worried about being infected. And so we take it seriously, not only for ourselves, but for our neighbors, for our brothers and sisters around the world. And we also recognize that there are some logical steps that we can do, uh, just especially of gathering on a Sunday. So we are going to do a few things that just seem logical. Uh, We are going to encourage if you have a sickness, if you feel the sickness coming on, if you uh, have been out of the country especially, then maybe it's a good idea to not attend a large group gathering. And that's just being smart about what you have been through and what you are experiencing now. We also are going to make a few changes uh, just in terms of how we operate on a Sunday morning. We're going to uh, be putting the offering baskets in the back, and so we won't be passing the offering plates around, uh, won't be having that time of uh, specific offering, but it'll be an opportunity for us to really emphasize the online giving. Don't forget that you can do that. It'll also be a time for us to emphasize that uh, you can drop the offering in the basket on the way out, and that can be a holy moment for you as well. We're also going to be doing less of the handshaking. Uh, Obviously, that's a a prime way of germs being spread, of viruses being spread. And so we encourage fist bumps. We encourage uh, just kind of waving anything that will uh, say hi, but not necessarily spread that germ. So just be smart about that. And then, of course, we have to uh, remember uh, if you are susceptible to it, if you're above a certain age, if you're below a certain age, if you have children below a certain age, then maybe it's a good idea to watch us online as well. So what I really encourage is simply be wise and discerning about your symptoms, about your interaction with people, and also never ever forget that we are called to be the least anxious presence in the room. Uh, We are called to give a reason for the sure and certain hope that we have. And this is a great opportunity to do that. This is a great time to be the ones who are sure and certain and to give a reason. The fact that Jesus Christ came and died for us, the fact that he is still on the throne, and the fact that he is our Lord and Savior. And that's what we're going to celebrate this Sunday. So as we continue our Easter passages, as we continue our Lent series, we're going to look at John 3, verses 16 and 17. So please take an opportunity to look those over and be prepared for what the Holy Spirit can do on Sunday. I look forward to seeing you, and I want you to remember that at Living Water, we seek to follow Jesus by loving God and loving others. And Lord willing, I'll see you on Sunday. Have a great week.